Hello, I'm Tim Pennington, editor of Products Finishing Magazine, and here's your top news from the finishing world for the week of December 12th. The Top Shops benchmarking survey is now open. Data from the plating and anodizing survey is used to determine which shops will be considered the 2019 Top Shops, as well as provide all participants with customized reports that compare their operations with the best practices throughout North America. Shops that complete a substantial portion of the survey will receive a customized report illustrating how their responses directly compare to all surveyed shops and to the top shops. The customized reports will be compiled with the help of Gardner Intelligence, which is part of Gardner Business Media, the parent company of Products Finishing. Visit pfonline.com to take the survey. PCI's Powder Coating 2019 Technical Conference and Tabletop Exhibition has announced its dates and keynotes. The event will be held April 1 through 4 at the Renaissance Orlando in SeaWorld in Orlando, Florida. The four-day event opens with a powder coating one-on-one -on -one class and a custom coder forum on April 1 and 2, with the conference and exhibition following on April 3 and 4. The tabletop display will feature powder coating manufacturers, powder coating application equipment companies, system houses, chemical suppliers, and various services that support the powder coating industry. Gemma won the 2019 Besser Lacarian Magazine Supplier Award for the product area Powder Coating Application in a survey conducted by the IMK Institute. Houston Plating and Coatings is celebrating its 30th anniversary of providing corrosion and wear protection services to energy and other equipment manufacturers across the Southwest. Houston Plating has grown to be one of the largest service firms in the Southwest by providing its customers with electroless nickel plating, salt bath nitriding, zinc, manganese phosphate, and a wide variety of spray coatings at its South Houston and Humble, Texas plants. The NASF Technical Advisory Committee is seeking speakers with surface finishing experience with a focus on new technology to give exclusive, informative, non-commercial presentations for the Surf and Technical Program. Abstract submissions are due no later than December 19th. The event will be held June 3rd through the 5th in Chicago at the Donald E. Stevens Convention Center in Rosemont. From our On The Move file, Brian Stowell has joined Gemma as a control engineer, bringing a strong background in mechanical engineering and software programming to the powder coating equipment maker. This week's technical tip is about tracking shop productivity and gathering information. And TrueLogic's Ellen Sellers says a relational database is the ideal solution for fragmented data collection and storage. Sellers says that although companies involved in the wet process manufacturing arena may believe that lagging production efficiencies and effectiveness result from a lack of data, but this is generally not the case. Our top innovation of the week is Atotech's Master Remover 7000, which makes inline removal of paint from racks and fixtures a fast and efficient possibility. It is formulated to efficiently remove powder paint from a variety of substrates, eliminating the need for secondary offline cleaning with conventional paint stripping processes. It is also easy to filter, which makes for long solution life, low waste, and low maintenance. Remember, you can read all of these stories at pfonline.com. You can also sign up for our weekly newsletters that will bring you all the latest finishing news and information to your inbox each week. I'm Tim Pennington, editor of Products Finishing, and thanks for watching.